All right, next um, we're going to do number 1, 4, and 11, which are all writing and graphing inequalities. Um, also remember to shade if applicable. So in number 1, we need to make sure we get this in slope-intercept form before we try to graph it. So I'm going to subtract 2x to the other side. and then divide by 3. Here we have the inequality in slope-intercept form. This intercept, the y-intercept is positive 2, slope is negative 2 over positive 3. So down 2 and then over positive 3. We need to look at the inequality symbol. It is a less than, not a less than or equal to. So I'm going to use a dotted line. And we need to remember to shade the entire solution set. It is all values that are less than. That means I'm going to shade below the line. This entire solution region is valid. All right, let's go to number four, which is also an inequality. Okay, here you'll notice there is no y. So let's see if we can isolate the x. So 3x is greater than or equal to 9, which means x is greater than or equal to 3. So if we're at x equals 3, the equation x equals 3 is a vertical line through 3. And I'm going to use a solid line here because it's greater than or equal to. And we need to shade. So if it's greater than 3, x is greater than 3 if you go to the right, not to the left. So I'm going to shade to the right of this line. All right, also looking at number 11, this is another inequality problem. Consider an inequality that has a y-intercept at 0, negative 3, and a slope of negative 2. So I'm going to go negative 2 and then over positive 1. So first I'm going to draw a line. And another piece of information we were given is that the point negative 6, negative 6 is also in the solution set of this inequality. So we sketch the graph. If we know that this point is part of the solution set and we're dealing with an inequality, that means the shading is on this side of the line. And the inequality, we know that the mx plus b portion will be slope equal to negative 2, y-intercept equal to negative 3. Then the inequality symbol, since we shaded below the line, is less than or equal to. We could have also said it was just less than if we had drawn a dotted line.